ten nine eight seven six five four three two one ignition and lift off. Go Falcon, go Starlink. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Vehicle is pitching downrange. At T plus 30 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 from the Cape at 11.35 a.m. Eastern Time. Power and telemetry nominal. Falcon 9 is supersonic. We just heard that Falcon 9 is supersonic, which means the vehicle is now traveling faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. And there's that call out for Max Q. This is the point at which the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of external stress as it ascends through the Earth's atmosphere. Just about, back chill has started. We're now just about one minute away from a series of events. Those are MECO, Stage SEP, SES-1, and fairing separation. MECO, or main engine cutoff, is where all nine of the Merlin M1D engines on the first stage will shut down. Stage separation is when the first and second stages will separate from each other. And SES-1, or second engine start one, is where we light that single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. Following those events is fairing separation, which is when the two fairing halves will separate and fall away from the second stage. So let's keep an eye out for those events coming up shortly. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. And back startup. There we go, folks. We just had successful main engine cutoff, stage separation, and MBAC startup. Fairing separation confirmed. And there go those two fairing halves falling away from the second stage. Both of the fairing halves that are flying on today's mission are flight proven. One half is flying for the seventh time today, and the other is flying for the tenth time. For those of you following along, this is actually the first tenth flight of a fairing half, and we will be attempting to recover both of those halves on our recovery vessel, Bob. As a reminder, on the left side of your screen is the Falcon 9 first stage, and on the right is the MBAC engine on our second stage, carrying the Starlink satellites to their desired orbit. You can see the speed of the first stage is decreasing as it reaches the apogee of its trajectory, while the second stage continues to accelerate towards orbit. Both vehicles are on a nominal trajectory. Great news there. Stage one and stage two are both following nominal trajectories. The first stage currently on its way back down towards Earth, heading for a landing on the drone ship. Just read the instructions. MBAC is continuing its burn, which should last another four and a half minutes or so. For those of you just joining us, we did have an on-time liftoff at 11.35 a.m. Eastern Time from Space Launch Complex 40. Today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 43rd launch of the year and 242nd Falcon 9 mission to date.
Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. Both vehicles continue to follow a nominal trajectory. Good news there, both vehicles continuing to follow a nominal trajectory. You can see the first stage is now accelerating down towards Earth. And the MBAC engine continuing to accelerate our satellites into orbit. The 56 satellites on today's mission will join the rest of our Starlink constellation, which is now delivering high-speed, low-latency internet to over 1.5 million people around the globe. On the left side of your screen, you can see those titanium grid fins on the first stage. Those measure about four by five feet, and they are the primary mechanism that we use to control the booster Both during, stages on a nominal trajectory. during its descent. Stage one FTS is saved. Stage one entry burn startup. You just heard we started up the entry burn on stage one, which we also sometimes refer to as the booster. The booster has now ignited engines 1, 5, and 9, and this is to slow it down for atmospheric Stage re-entry. Stage 2, FTS is saved. Stage 1, entry burn shut down. Great news there. We just completed the entry burn on the first stage. The first stage used to launch our 56 Starlink satellites to space is flying for its eighth time today. And we do have one more burn on the first stage, which is the landing burn. And that should be coming up in just around one minute. The landing burn is when we will light the center E9 engine, and that will slow us down for a soft landing on our drone ship. Both vehicles following the nominal trajectory. Stage one transonic. There's the call out for first stage is transonic. This means we are transitioning from a supersonic to a subsonic speed. Coming up next is that landing burn. Should be starting up the landing burn in around 20 seconds. Stage two is in terminal guidance. Stage one landing burn. There's that confirmation that stage one landing burn has started in preparation for a touchdown on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. Keep an eye out for those landing legs that are scheduled to deploy just moments before landing. Landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And there we go. Falcon 9 has successfully landed, marking the eighth landing. Signal. Keep.